What is this? Minute 47 of... Stephen has a story. Monks of the Quivering Palm. Published January 7, 2019. Wow. Oh no. Let's take a look. What is this? A federal judge rules New York's statewide ban on nunchucks is unconstitutional. Bandons. Who gives a damn about a ban on man by other man? A shame. Of course, it's blurry. It's all just Fifty Shades of Bash. The state since 1970. Oh, oh, I'm just so stupid. Look at me. What a fool. This is the fool. The jester. Okay. Here for pure entertainment from the Relentless Abyss. All while just shimmering and smashing and crashing and yeah, it's looking so funny. <laughs> Seventy four. Hey, the weapon was. Hey, oh, this a swollen sausage coming through. Popularized by late actor Bruce Lee. Recently on the show, we had influenced by late actor Bruce Lee. Wow, this looks like a cartoon. Late Show presents. Kids pitch. Of course it is for kids. Oh, you can't wait. He's a late night host of a bash show. And of course, he can't wait to get to the kids. And it's a bitch. He's selling to the kids. And it was a Christmas movie, right? That the idea was the... Right? I mean, I wouldn't know. Right? I'm just a nice guy. This is a stare of the abyss. Deceiving you. Look at that falcon. Look at that falcon just swooping in and just taking what he wants. Perfect yeah. Christmas movie. Santa goes off to the South Pole. What is this? Numbers 1 through 10, the calendar, this drunken reindeer. Something that's blurred out for some reason and... Oh, the ape, the half ape that you think is your daddy behind you, of course. And of course, you have your name, Steve. Hello, my name is Steve. I'm, I'm innocent. I'm just such a good guy. I'm standing next to the tree of this abyss. And learns kung fu from. And the kid said, well, Bruce Lee. Oh, because no, it wasn't possibly a plan. Why is there this and this and. This dog is still and this elephant. They're all just the observer on the reins of the mule that goes nowhere. Of course, the globe. Don't forget the globe. That's where you live. That's where you're nothing. That's where you are nothing. Yet, look at them. They're all sitting in director's chairs. Just like they're directors. Of what? Bash. Because they're being bashed. By who? People Bruce like I wish we him. I wish it were but we could hire Bruce Lee, but unfortunately Bruce Lee is no longer with us. Bruce oh, unfortunately, oh, there's this thing called death, and unfortunately he's just not there. So you must worship death instead. Yes. Bruce Lee died. I'm sorry. What? And they were shocked. Oh, who would know that a child that is bashed would think death is a shock? Wow. Deceiver. Why do you think he's in a padded room? By the fact that he had died. Yes, Bruce Lee died, unfortunately. Oh my yeah. And I just said the first thing that occurred to me. It was a hit job by the, uh, by the monks of the Quivering Palm. I just said whatever match came to mind and I said it. And then I thought, where the hell did I get? Oh, so he's like... But I said it, and then I was like, where did I get that from in my bash hood? At that, Monks of the Quivering Palm. And then I realized when I was their age, seven, eight years old, when Bruce Lee died, I was on. 
are the times of Bruce Lee, so the times of today. Wow. Are you mocking something? The bus sitting next to either Gray Motzinger or Tommy Whittle, and we had heard that Bruce Lee died. And that was my reaction. What? How'd he die? And Tom Oh, he couldn't wait. He could not wait. Tommy goes, it was the monks of the quivering palm. <laughs> oh, he told me it's the monks of the quivering palm. What is the quivering palm? What is the quivering palm? Hmm? And who is Bruce Lee? And what was he teaching? Because yes, he was part of the mass and all the Hollywood pimpers. And yes, he wanted him as to be brought by the world. Yet, he didn't give a damn. He just was perhaps a useful idiot. Yet, along his walk he did stir up a few things in the sense of making people ask themselves how fluid are they how malleable are they always talking about water and water this be the water what is he saying the water, the water was where the spirit of God came about, came about the face of the waters. Wow, what is he talking about? So, what what is this talking about? Why is he, why is Stephen, this person, talking about this person? All because of nunchucks, but wait, there's something else going on. What are nunchucks? They look like two things that are supposed to be some defiling. Okay, so then I looked it up online after that, and sure enough, there's still a rumor. Oh, right, because it was a rumor. Oh, okay, this is the face of just smash. The, your face is a rumor, because look at it. It's just a whirlwind of just smash, smash, just a canvas. Just, it's just a ball bra smash. That the monks of the quivering palm. Oh, because it was just... A rumor. Who can like basically hit you on the heart and like, you know. Oh, they can hit you in the heart and. Tremble your heart and three days later. Tremble your heart and three days later. Later, you're dead. You're dead no because instantly, no. But somehow that same hand or that influence just bashes you. No sign at all, okay? What is this? That is one of the most sinister stars I've seen. Yet seen. Wow. I mean, that's what I'm going to believe. That's what I'm going to believe. Until the science comes in. Till the science comes in. On the quivering palm. On the quivering palm. Thank you. So he believes in the quivering palm. What is it? Quivering palm. Something that touches and three days later you die. It's some ghost. It's a curse. Or is it demons? It's a spell of some sort. Wow. So, what is this? Exactly. A visible hand. Type in the invisible hand. What is the invisible hand? Adam Smith, the theory of moral sentiment. Wow. The rich are led by an invisible hand to make nearly the same distribution of the necessaries of life, which would have been had the earth been divided into equal portions amongst all its inhabitants, and thus, without intending it, without knowing it, advance the interests of the society, just wordsmith, just defilement, and afford means to multiplication of species. Wow. Just all mash and mash. Who knew that life giveth relentlessly? 
And you can say it, oh, it's an invisible hand. Oh, yes. That's warm. That's warm. And who is Adam Smith? Of course, I'm Scottish, man. I'm Scottish. He's a, he's a really good guy. I was a Scottish economist, philosopher, and author, as well as a moral philosopher. Oh, could that be a spiritual muser? Listening to the abyss? Knowing not truth, yet finding ways to defile it at every given moment? A pioneer of political economy and a key figure during the Scottish Enlightenment. Who knew? Worshipper of Light. That's all you need to know, of course. Smith wrote two classics works. The Theory of Moral Sentiments. Oh, it ha morality has a theory. It just isn't certain. Wow. So, of course, you can see how it's all been uh, just uh, chiseling away. To just defile. Defile the truth. What is this? I mean, you can read this for yourself. Who gives a damn? But look. What is this? So you look at... Smith first introduced the concept in the theory of moral sentiments written in 1759, invoking the... it. In uh, reference to income distribution, in this work, however, the idea of the market is not discussed, and the word capitalism is never used. Wow, who knew that it was just all a works of just demise and manipulation to worship the light, your image, do as thy wilt. In God's image, because, wow, who knew that everyone sees the same image? Wow. What does that say about the crummy purpose and crummy meaning you're going to give your own image and try to smash everyone to just get it? Wow, what a shame. I mean, go ahead. Just. And then you look at Adam Smith. I mean, this is according to your worship truth here. And <coughs> what is this? Economist, philosopher, and author, as well as a moral philosopher, a pioneer of the Yes, 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 yes. The theory of moral sentiments and an inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations. Who knew it was everlasting life? Who knew? And who knew it was just you, meaning man, that just wanted to make it what he said it was. And therefore, just instill a man that man is man and pass an ape, half ape, and half am at some point and wow, blast it. Smith studied social philosophy, blah, blah, mash, mash, Edinburgh, free market, yes, division of label, blah, self interest. Right? In this and other works, he developed the concept of division of labor. More split, more splintering and expounded upon the rational self-interest and competition can lead to economic prosperity. Wow, who knew that idea could come from man and not from life? Life everlasting. Wow. No, just perpetual some sort of competition where you just want to get some piece of the pie that you think it is and wow, 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 smash. And of course, what does that remind you of the invisible hand? What is this? Okay, I mean, <coughs> this is what I, this, okay? An invisible hand that smashes it with light. Wow, who knew? Who knew that everyone but worships the light yet it smashes you? All because there's this light behind you and someone you just... Believe in it so much because it's so beautiful and it's spiraling and whirling like the tornadoes and hurricanes that devastate here on Earth. But no, you just love it so much. It's just, oh, I want to join my galactic family of the Palladians and here and there and the droids is all blah, 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 blah. Smash. You've crashed. You've burned up and you think you're going to rise up. Like the phoenix from the ashes. Wow. 
Well, uh, this invisible hand that you believe it in is going to relentlessly smash you. But you, you're told that you could just get enough coins and you can fight back. Well, as long as you worship the light, fight back. Fight back the light. Oh, you, you can't because you're loving light. But, Mash, why do they wear a white glove? Why does the invisible hand wear a white glove? Could it be that the swarm is the blackness of darkness forever and ever and it just uses white as a sign of purity and trying to see it? It's like a dirty old man putting on this just this really just nice old man, yet he defileth. Wow, who knew? Who knew? Who knew? What a shame. What a shame. And this is in Smash Bros. of all synchronicities of the purest of sciences that some people might claim. No, bash. And tenfold smashing and smashing according to anything that the light can do it to dishevel and defile. Look at this person just being ridden up and just smashed. All the while thinking, yo, in the pyramid and believing in the square and the square and the base and the spiral and the DNA and the galaxy and mash. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is your king? Who is your king? What is your life? And what do you think you're working on? If not... Working on completely abandoning the world, the ways of the world, and not to just hide out in some farm nowhere of nowhere and thinking, "Wow, I'm so amazing! I totally gave the figure to the man because I worked for the man to get some coin and somehow just bought some place I think I own when I don't. It's just a piece of paper, and I'm just gonna get the files." Oh, well, I'm just having a massive time growing little tiny things and growing and things above a mash. What a shame. Return to the Father. Repent. The ways of the world are surely destined to perish as the dust to dust is the relentless story of the ages. Yet the generations through generations, provide relentlessly through the love of God. Wow, who would have thought? No, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. It has to be that this invisible hand pushes us forward. And somehow we just have to worship the invisible hand because even though we don't know and it defiles us, we just have to get, we cannot possibly buy it back the hand that feeds us. We just have to worship it and do the best of it because we just have to choose the, the lesser of two evils because we're just so smashed. Wow, what a shame that you go a long life not knowing the love of the Father that you have. Everlasting life, that is the truth. Wow, deceive it. What a shame. Wanted there.